Hello and welcome to PO Sports Talk. I'm at Got Walls along with Colin Stevens. We're just finishing up our PO All-Star teams. We got girls soccer going Friday, uh, softball Saturday, and baseball Sunday. Uh, and we wanted to wrap up the spring season a little bit here. Colin, what was your favorite memory of the spring? Uh, it was the state track and field championships. Chambersburg was extremely competitive both days. Marcia Ryan started off winning the gold medal in the long jump. Next day she won the triple jump. Both of them were by far distances. No one was even close to her. Then the 4x800 relay, that was a thrilling finish. Came down to a Ryan Holder dive at the end. But that was about what? <laughs> that was different. Maybe less. <laughs> uh, it, that was such an exciting race. And then Jessica Whitmore, second place in the 100 meter dash. That also came down to a photo finish. Uh, oh, it was just all in all, such an exciting day. Hot day, but a lot of fun. Uh, what, what would you say yours was? Uh, that'd be a good question. I, you got a coin? <laughs> uh, I, I think we'd have to go with, uh, at least for me, it had to be Phantom Metal Softball winning a state title. Um, I just That's just such a neat thing for a small school like that. And, uh, you know, there's, there's just such a difference between a small school winning something like that and a big school. Mm -hmm. I and mean, this is nothing. I mean, I was up there for the Chambersburg volleyball team that won states. That was quite an achievement. I'm not taking anything away from that at all. But there might have been 50, 60 people there from Chambersburg to watch okay. it. You know, and I realized they played in the semifinals in the morning, so everybody knew they were going to be in the final. But there were probably – at least 800 Phantom Metal fans there. Sea of white. A sea of white t-shirts, and that's probably, there's probably more people there than there were left back in the valley. So it was just a huge, huge event for that for that uh, that valley. It was just so great to see those girls win it. I, those kind of things just don't come around very often. And just, just it just was a really nice feeling. You know, yeah. it, was, uh, it was fun to write about. It was fun to, to witness and uh, just, you know, worked out really well. Yeah, especially for such a young team. That's and true. Stewie, Stewie, their coach, Stuart Miller, he didn't see that happening at the beginning of the year. They had a ton of freshmen, so yeah. to get that, with uh, that was unbelievable. Yeah, they just, one of the seasons where everything just kind of broke right. They got, you know, didn't score a lot, but they scored just enough to win. And, uh, you know, and our people are already talking about next year. Well, you just never know how things are going to break. They certainly have the talent next year. But softball games are so close, I just wouldn't want to, you know, but it was fun, no question of that. And you had fun at the uh, state volleyball championship too. Indeed, that was that was quite a thing. Um, you know, Chambersburg had had trouble with Central Dolphin all year, and I think everybody kind of assumed they might meet in the final, and then CD got beat in the semifinals to a team that Chambersburg had handled easily the day before. I guess you saw that one. Mm -hmm. And I, I just, I was just walking out of there between the semifinal and final. I thought, you know, this is going to be kind of tough to take mentally because you're already figuring you got a one, and it was to turn out to be a great match, three two over Penridge and. Uh, that was just cool. I mean, that, that was a team that, you know, just I think everybody maybe three years ago kind of saw the fact that they might be contenders coming and it just slowly built up and they, they got it done. Yeah, especially with a player like Mitch Stahl and yeah. the Frazier brothers. Yep. That, that's a good uh, good yep. set right there. This is kind of, I said something in my column that was in today's paper that, you know, Chambersburg has two clearly dominant Division One kind of players, more Shea Ryan and, and Mitch Stahl. It's kind of going kind to of be fun to see how they how their recruiting turns out because we haven't had that many big stories around here like that. Um, and these aren't you know the big sports, but they're all the all the top schools are going to be looking for them. So yeah, just juniors. It'll be exciting yeah. to see them next year. Yep, that's right. Cool. Well, uh, thanks for joining us on PO Sports Talk, and uh, we'll see you again next time.